We have some breaking news in college football as it has been announced that Auburn has fired coach Gus Malzahn after eight seasons. And in his eight seasons, Gus Malzahn coached the Auburn Tigers to a record of 68 and 35. And in those 68 wins, he's beaten Alabama a few times, three times, in fact. And can you think of any head coach right now that's in college football that has beaten Nick Saban and Alabama three times? I mean, the closest you can think of would be Dabo Sweeney beating Alabama twice. But I think that's the most that anyone's beaten Alabama, at least among the active head coaches in college football. Because Ed Ogeron only beat Alabama once, and that was last year in their championship run. Jimbo Fisher's yet to beat Alabama. Lincoln Riley hasn't beaten Alabama. Kirby Smart hasn't beaten Alabama. So I just think Gus Malzahn was underappreciated at Auburn. And I know that Auburn's offense, it looked anemic for most of the season. But maybe it could be a quarterback problem. Maybe Bo Nix isn't the answer that Auburn and their fans, that they anticipated. I mean, especially when he's the son of a former Auburn quarterback. Of course, you're going to think that the son could do just as good or much better than his dad. It's quite common to think that. But maybe just wasn't the answer. Now, realistic possibilities of a replacement for Gus Malzahn. I mean, right off the bat, I would say the top candidate could be Joe Brady, the current offensive coordinator for the Carolina Panthers. And... I know that Joe Brady is under contract with the Panthers until 2022, but I just think if a head coach position opened up, I could see Joe Brady taking it because we've seen Joe Brady with the Saints and with LSU. And could this be the time that Joe Brady wants to take a coaching job? Another candidate that could be a realistic possibility could be Rhett Lashley, the current offensive coordinator for Miami. Now, despite Miami losing big yesterday against North Carolina, throughout the entire season, we have seen Miami make a huge improvement compared to years past. Most most of that is because of the improved quarterback play of De'Ara King. And De'Ara King, I think, is the best quarterback that Miami's had ever since the early 2000s with Ken Dorsey. So I think maybe if maybe if Auburn wants to call Rhett Lashley, he'll pick up the phone and he'll probably at least interview. Because Rhett Lashley was the former offensive coordinator for Auburn, but then he shockingly took the offensive coordinator job at UConn. And now he's currently the offensive coordinator of Miami after being with SMU as their offensive coordinator. So could it be a time for Rhett Lashley? But if you really want to possibly do better defensively, which I don't think that's an issue at all. I just, I think Kevin Steele has one of the best defenses in college football. And he's one of the best defensive coordinators in the game. But Mike Elko out of Texas A&M, Mike Elko has the statistical best defense in the SEC Conference this season. I don't think that's as realistic as Joe Brady or Rhett Lashley. I think those are two names to keep in mind moving forward into this process. But we will see. Like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you next time.